so hi everyone today we will be walking through a very interesting demonstration on how you can convert streamlit application or any other application in your system into a dot exe file that is an executable file which can act like a software so basically this can be very helpful when you wish to share your codes wish to share your demonstrations your pocs to non tech guys who don't have python installed in their system other libraries don't are not installed in their system and it is good for resharing purposes so today in this particular demonstration we will learn how this can be done so first of all you should be creating a virtual environment in your desktop so basically you just navigate to the point where you wish to create this virtual environment and then first of all install virtual env so this is a package that will help you very straight forwardly to create a virtual environment now i already have a virtual environment in my system as well as i have this library also so i'm not installing this how to create a virtual environment using virtual n this is the command very simple just call virtual n and name of your virtual environment so in this case i am naming it as demo i won't be creating it right now because it will take some time rather i will use one of my existing virtual environments that i have already created for this demonstration that is test so how to activate a virtual environment which has been created using virtual env library you just need to use this particular command dots forwards uh, backwards slash name of the virtual environment that you have given for me this is it is test then uh, backwards slash scripts backwards slash activate and then just do an enter now here you can see that test has been activated as you can see now there are couple of things that you need to consider first of all in this virtual environment you need to pip install cx freeze pip install cx freeze and streamlit that application and other libraries also that you are using so in the demonstration that i will be building it would be a very very basic streamlit application that is a hello world but if you are having a complicated application i would rather suggest you to install all the required libraries now once you have installed everything just do a pip freeze to check out whether all the requirements are available or not especially cx freeze and streamlit now for streamlit a very interesting case is that you need to use a very specific version to run this particular demo that is streamlit 1.13.0 here you can see that streamlit is present do remember to use this version else you would be facing a lot of issues as i faced a number of issues now here is cx freeze as you can see so these are the two major library uh, libraries that i would be using in my codes now what i will be doing i will be showing you my streamlit code and eventually a run file that i have created for it that will get, that will initiate the streamlit application from python So here you can see that I have created two applications in a folder demo two for now. I will just open it to show you the contents. This is a little tricky process on creating exe because at times you would be able to create the exe but the exe would fail on launching because it took me nearly a week to complete this demo because there were version issues, the demonstrations, the tutorials present on the internet were not right. So I think I need to figure out a lot lot of things but now it is working for me. So here you can see that the streamlit code very baseline this title and write uh, any other library that you would be using i would suggest you to install it in the virtual environment now this is the basic application where our main file exists that is the app.py now you need to create one more file that is setup.py and here you can see that this content is very important the most important segment in this file is this particular section where you can see that i'm launching the streamlit app streamlit run app.py using this setup file this is very very important this content and also do remember that in this particular file import all the libraries that you are using in app.py for a better wrapping of of discrepancies so i uh, i just was facing many issues when i was using different libraries in app.py but were not mentioning them in setup.py then that was creating some issues in launching the application so i would suggest if you are using some library say scikit learn or pandas do mention it in setup.py as well so that will help you to uh, create your uh, exe 
more comfortably else you will be facing many issues now this is the copy paste code that you need to do just copy paste everything as it is and name change the name of the file that you have used so here it is app.py as you know now once you have created these two files what you need to do you need to do nothing just move to that particular folder cd demo 2 and call cx freeze hyphen script and setup.py so setup.py is the file which is launching the main streamlet app do remember that and do an enter now this will create some this will take some time as you can see that uh, the execution has started it is now starting off with building your exe file this will take some time by the time i have already created the demos uh, in other file so we will check that now here you can see that once the execution is successful uh, in the logs you would be able to check here this will take some minutes our new folder called as build will appear now in this build you need to again navigate to windows and then you will see a number of files here where one of the files is setup.exe which is our actual exe file that we are looking for now before launching this do remember that you need to copy both the files the app and the setup.py in the same folder as the exe as else you will face some issues so hence here you can see that i've already copy pasted app.py and setup.py also any other file that you are using like for example you might be reading some csv so do copy that in this folder and then just launch setup.exe this will again open up a terminal window for you where you will be able to see that it is launching the streamlit app on a local host url if everything goes right now here you can see that the streamlit app has been launched on localhost 8501 using a .exe file it is loading and then it will show you the basic message that we are printing in a app.py file yeah here you can see that the app is executing here you can you, if you are entering something the logs would be available here in the setup.exe so this is how you can create an exe file for your streamlit app for sharing purposes couple of things to remember one is to create a virtual environment second the version of streamlit is very important that is 1.13.0 for to follow this particular tutorial and third is to copy paste the files that you are using into the .exe file folder the same folder the build folder that you have seen and this is how eventually the application would be created very easy to use also and looks very fine the catch is the size of this folder would be huge like about 200 250 mbs and depends upon depending upon the libraries that you are using the file would, the folder would become even bigger so do remember that it is just for sharing your pocs don't try to make build setups as the method is not optimized because it will be wrapping up all the libraries so thank you so much now here you can see that the command that we started off is now showing some logs it is started creating the exe file for us so logs would look something like this and the output would look something like the exe file that you saw just now thank you